Your first alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. Talk about rough driving conditions mm -hmm. this morning. We were on our way to the Detroit Auto Show to try and make it, but we got about halfway there and decided it's just <laughs> not going to work out. We wanted to save our car mm. rather than see the new ones. Oh, yeah, and it's it's been a rough month for a lot of people. The snow, it's not just one thing or the other. We've been getting the snow, the cold, the, the winds, you know, and yeah. just today, uh, or maybe it's today or yesterday, it's been announced uh, the Detroit National Weather Service. They said Detroit and Flint have had the snowiest Januarys on record, which Thanks. is about 31 and a half inches in Detroit, 29 and a half inches in Flint so far still going a lot you know, of folks tired of digging out yeah so far Lansing has had less than 20 inches and still going of course and we do have some snow still out there check out our radar where we do have a little bit still falling in some spots I checked outside our, our own door here in Lansing and I didn't see anything coming down we actually have some clear spots here and there the snow is weakening and diminishing we picked up over an inch today early uh, overnight and this morning as for what's to come our way next I'm going to zoom out here and show you what's headed our way from Minnesota and the Dakotas, where they're seeing a fair amount of that snowfall. That's headed our direction for tomorrow. They actually have some blizzard-like conditions. It's not very heavy snowfall, but it's very windy, so we have to deal with those winds as well. We have some winter weather advisories in effect for pretty much most of mid-Michigan, not quite everybody here, but the western half, including uh, all the way to the lakeshore. Those are valid through tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. is when they're scheduled to expire. And it's not just a snowfall because we're not going to see a huge amount of snow. We'll see a couple inches by tomorrow morning, but it's the temperatures and the winds. Temperatures now single digits, but with these winds that have kind of been whipping around throughout the day today, they're much weaker now. They're, they're weakening as we get into the overnight hours. It's still enough to bring down our wind chills below zero. Five below is what it feels like in Lansing. Breaking down the forecast in your weather headlines for tonight, diminishing snowfall, very cold though. And snowy morning is in store by about 6 to 8 a.m. is when we should start to see the first bits of snow enter mid-Michigan. In the week ahead, extreme cold again. We've been talking about it practically all month. It seems like we can't get a break. Here's what we can expect over the next couple of days here. So right now, we have the system off to our west. There it is. By tomorrow morning, we'll start to see the first bits of that snowfall enter mid-Michigan. Last throughout the majority of the afternoon hours maybe break up a bit in the evening time and only just some light scattered snowfall and by Monday morning that system will be past us with the cold front and that will have that strong northwest wind giving us some light lake effect snow showers into mid Michigan and of course much colder temperatures with it into Monday night and Tuesday just kind of more of the same more lake effect snow here's about how much snow we can expect for Sunday about one to two inches across most of mid Michigan I do think some spots could see up to three total over the course of the day those spots would be closer to the west and southwest portions of mid Michigan as for temperatures single digits into tomorrow morning and staying in that range warming up a little bit though into the afternoon hours with that warm front that southwest wind at first before the cold front hits us we'll get up into the teens maybe even about 20 degrees but it does not last monday or sunday night into early monday temperatures quickly drop and they stay very cold into monday's forecast and they just stay cold for Tuesday as well. I think Tuesday is going to be the coldest day of the entire weekend. So we'll, we'll be lucky to get above zero. By Wednesday, Thursday, temperatures do bounce back up at least a little bit. As for tonight's forecast, we should get to about two below zero for your absolute uh, overnight low temperature. It might feel colder, though, with these winds, maybe around 10 to 15 below zero. Some light snow showers here and there. Those will be breaking up until tomorrow morning, where we'll see more of that snowfall into tomorrow's forecast. About 17 degrees the high temperature tomorrow. In your seven day forecast, the thing that we need to take away the most here are the temperatures. Very cold, coldest Monday through Wednesday with a significant wind chill as well. It's not just the temperatures, it's the winds. As for snowfall, it's actually not that bad this week. Tomorrow's snowfall, a couple of inches here and there, and then more snow likely on Thursday and Friday. But the temperatures, just it, yeah. we can't seem to get a break, can we? A very cold start to the work week. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Dustin. We'll take a quick break. Stay with us. We've got more news coming up right after this. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.